Okay, guys, just remember today we're gonna be practicing um, some skills um, in English, okay? Some of the skills that are important when we are learning English, okay? But uh, by the main thing that we're going to do today is just practice with our conversation about our memories, okay? Do you remember that in this unit, we have been talking about the past simple, about, yes, about the past and how can we talk with, with other people about their memories, about our situations that are in the past now, okay? But also we have learned some expressions that can um, help us to, to correct some conversations. For example, when we are talking with someone, we need to, um, we, we are remembering something, but then we realize that it's not information that we want to give to the other people, okay? And we, we have some an, um, adverts that can help us to correct this conversation. Just remember what, what were those words? I mean, um, actually, no, wait, okay? Just, we are going to remember here a little information about this, okay? Just give me one. Okay, so, can you see the page? Pueden ver la página? Yes? Yes. Okay, entonces, Eh, la importancia de aprender a utilizar correctamente el, el pasado simple para hablar de información que está en el pasado y para hablar de recuerdos. También les comentaba que hemos aprendido algunas eh, expresiones que nos pueden ayudar a corregir conversaciones cuando hablamos con alguien más o cuando nosotros mismos estamos dando información. ¿Ok? Ah, ok, ¿qué pasa? Bueno, en our conversations. Ok. When you make a mistake in English, how do you correct yourself? You need to learn that you can even correct yourself using these new um, using new strategies to correct yourself. Okay, you correct your information in a conversation. And we have all these three expressions. The first one is well, actually, and not way. Okay, do you remember guys that in our last class we we reviewed these expressions. Yes. Okay, guys. So, okay. So we are going to use well, actually, and no way. These expressions just to correct your conversations, to correct yourself, okay? And for example, we are going to start with no wait. In this conversation we have in the letter B, letter, letter A, is this your, is this you in the photo? Look at how cute you were. Thank you. Yes, that was me. I was four in that photo. But then do you remember that the information that you have given to the other person, it's not true. And just remember, I'm sorry, uh, um, it was my mistake. I, I wasn't four, I was three, but you can also use, no wait, I was three because you are correcting that information, okay? So here we have another expression that is well, for example, do you remember much about kindergarten? Not really well. I remember my first day of class, my teacher gave me a lollipop because I wouldn't stop crying, it worked, okay? It's the same, you don't remember your whole information about that day, but then you remember just a few information about what, how, how was your first day of, of your class? And you can use, oh, well, okay? Just giving and some information about that day and you can even use well okay 
and the third is actually okay mm, yeah so did you use to take the school bus yeah oh actually my first parents would take me to school and then in high school i started to commute to school on my own i would take a bus okay and you are adding information when you use actually okay just we have uh, three expressions that you can even use when you when you were talking about your memories okay so and the third and the and the and the third one is i mean okay even you can use i mean to correct yourself when you say the wrong word or name okay we can also use in other words okay is the same or significa que o quiero decir que o lo que, uh -huh. uh, you can translate in both Okay, I got the, I got lost once at a supermarket once. How did your parents find you? Well, the manager. I mean, I guess she told the manager that there were there was a kid wandering around and he made an announcement th through a low speaker. Okay. I mean, quiero decir. Okay, guys. You get um, it? What mean uh, actually it's actually in realidad. Okay. Okay. Florencia Jorge Fabiola. Yes. Fabiola, you got and um, Florencia. I am here. Okay, here we have only it's only Jorge, right? It's not Antonio. Yes, uh, yes. Antonio is only Jorge. Yes. Florencia, Fabiola, and uh, Florencia, uh, Fabiola. Oh, yeah. I can see two Fabiolas. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh. Okay, guys. So let's start with our with our activity. Do you, do you do your homework, or this was this activity? Sorry, the homework was review in our last class. Okay, so let's start with this activity. Okay, just remember this was the last activity that was um, that we did, didn't do in our last class. Okay, so we're going to we're going to listen to people about their childhood memories. And we are underlining the words they correct, write the corrections on the line. Okay? So I'm going to share the sound with you. And let's start with this activity. Okay. Page 49. 3. Listening and Strategies. I don't remember exactly. A. Listen to people talk about their childhood memories. Underline the words they correct. Write the corrections on the lines. 1. I loved sports when I was a kid. I played softball until I was in sixth grade. Actually, it was until I was in seventh grade. And then I got interested in other sports, like track. I was a pretty good athlete. Two. We grew up in a great neighborhood. Then we, um, we moved to Canada for a few years when I was seven. No, wait, I was eight. Anyway, I was really happy when we moved back. Three. Oh, when I was in school, I got A's in most of my classes. My hardest class was algebra. I mean, calculus. 
I got a C in that one. Four. A lot of the friends I have now, they're, um, I met them in school. I met Carly in 1996. We were best friends in high school. Well, actually, it was middle school. And we're still really close. Five. I didn't have many friends when I was little. All the kids teased me in school because I had an unusual name. Well, not all of them, some of them. But a few kids, like my friend Alex, were always really nice to me. Okay, guys, you got it? Yes or no? More or less. Yes. More or less. Okay, who got it? Who got, who got the number one? I played softball until I was in sixth grade. Is actually I was in seventh grade. Okay, I was in seventh grade. What you can uh, tell about this information given here? In the first conversation, okay, who was the participant, Fabiola or Florencia? No, Florencia. Florencia, okay, you said, you used, you heard this. I played softball until I was in seats. Great. Okay, the girl is talking about when, uh, she, when she used to practice softball, okay, but she was in seats. Great. But then she uses actually, okay? Actually, why did she use actually in this sentence? Florencia? Mm, because he wrong in the grade. Okay, just remember, what is the main objective of these expressions? The main objective is to correct the conversation, to correct ourselves. Okay, for example, if we are giving some information that is not true, and then we remind that that information is different, we use these expressions, okay? Just for correct the conversation. Estas expresiones tienen este, un objetivo que es corregir eh, la una conversación de una información que probablemente olvidamos y estábamos diciendo mal, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, en esta oración nos dice que ella jugaba cuando estaba en sexto grado. Después dice, oh, en realidad tenía siete. ¿Ok? ¿Ok, Florencia? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Then we go with the number two. Ok, who wants to participate in this uh, sentence? Number two. We moved to Canada for a few years when I was seven. No way. Was eight. Okay, who was? Uh, Fabiola? Or Florence? Yeah. No, Fabiola. Fabiola. What was the age? Eight. Eight, okay, no wait. I was eight. Okay. Um, okay, I was eight. Okay, in this sentence, um, Fabiola, no, yes. And why you can, why you can see in this information? We moved to Canada for a few years when I was seven. No, wait. I was eight. Yes. Porque utilizamos no, wait. He correct you. Okay, exactly, exactly. Just to correct something that is wrong, okay? It's like, and nos mudamos a Canadá por un tiempo cuando tenía siete. Um, no, espera, tenía ocho. No, wait. Okay, recordó la verdadera información. Okay, number three, my hardest class was Algebra. I mean, 
calculus. Okay, just remember this one, calculus. Why calculus? Because calculus, I think, uh, is in, in the general algebra subject. I don't remember this. I don't remember who was the good one in math, maths, Fabio, Fabiola or Florencia. Some, someone in, in our last class told me that she was really good at maths, but I don't remember who. Me, me no, because I didn't enter in that class. Okay, so okay, I, I think I think that algebra is casi lo mismo que cálculo, pero mucha gente lo conoce como cálculo en vez de algebra. Entonces, okay. en esta oración, por eso se corrige así como de maybe you don't think that algebra is calculus and Cal people can understand. Oh, yes, it's calculus. Cal yes, calculus is more general. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Or is general. I don't know. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Then, and we were best friend in high school. Well, actually, It was middle school, okay? Actually, it was middle school. Do you remember the information? It was not in high school. It was in middle school. And then we got the number five. All the kids teased me in school because I had an unusual name. Well, not all of them, some of them, okay? Do you remember what is some? And not all of them. Some is algunos. Yes, some of them. In just remember, this is part. This is particular. It's not general. And not all of them is a general. Okay. Okay. Not all of them. Okay. So guys. No. So, uh, yes. Tell me, Jorge. Oh no. Uh, just I uh, repeat the some of them with uh, not general, not general. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. So, and we are going to make this activity that you have here. It says take turns selling memories of growing up. Ask questions to find out more information. Okay. This is a free talk by your own guys. You need to start with the, with the, with the expression, oh, sorry, uh, I remember. I got into big trouble one time when I was seven. No, wait, I was safe. Okay, please. Uh, can you tell me a memory that you have? Okay, and then you can correct them. Okay, for example, I'm going to start. Then it's going to start Fabiola. Then Jorge, and the last one would be Florence. Okay, we're going to talk about our memories. Okay, but we are going to give more information and we need to correct ourselves. Okay, necesitamos corregir estas conversaciones. <coughs> For example, um, I remember, uh, I remember that when I was 11 years old, I started to practice um, football. Um, no, wait, I started at 12 years old, okay? This is a memory of myself. What about you, Fabiola? What do you remember? Yes, I can hear you, Fabiola. I don't know why. Uh, 
I don't know why I can hear you. The speaker is slow. Yes. No. <laughs> yes, big, but far away. <laughs> yes, <laughs> far, far away. <laughs> okay, don't worry, Fabiola. Uh, you can write them. Okay, puedes escribir en el chat. Okay, and then we go with Jorge. Jorge, tell us a memory. Just remember the same structure. I remember. Vas a dar tu oración en pasado sobre algún recuerdo de la niñez y luego lo vas a corregir. Puedes utilizar um, actually, no wait, or well, o I mean. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. I remember. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Fabiola is writing. Okay. 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 Fabiola says, I played. She remembers that she played with. My friend, okay, I play with my friends in the park when I was seven years old. No, wait, I was six. Okay, Fabiola, remember that the real age was age, was six years old. Okay, thanks, Fabiola. Okay. Then it's your turn, Jorge. Please okay. tell us. I remember uh, I gone to the big travel in the school. When I was uh, se seven, no wait, <laughs> okay. I was uh, ninety. <laughs> Nine, ninety. Ninety. <laughs> yes. Ninety or night. <laughs> ninety or night. No yes. wait, I was ninety or night. No, oh, no, no. Yeah, but you, you tell me it's night. Years old or 90 years old? Um, because 90 is 90 and 9 is 9. 9. <laughs> yeah, 9 years nine. old. Okay. Just remember 9, 9, 19, 19, 90, 90. Sorry for my bite spinning. No, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, and even you are, you have improved okay. your speaking. Oh. Okay. okay. You are, you are uh, good. You are really David, good. Yes. David, in progress uh, with a natural correction here. Uh, Improve uh, is mejorar. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, uh, no. In progress. Uh, I refer in this moment. Uh, okay. You are in progress. Yes. Yes. yes you okay. Are in progress. Uh, okay. Uh, I made mistake or, or I corrected, uh, but. Um, uh, Yes, tell me. Ah, it's correct. Uh, say, uh, um, uh, uh, get, uh, get, uh, it's, it's correct. Give, a, uh, uh, apologies, uh, when you make a mistake. Okay. Um, with that form, with that form, I am sorry. I don't know. Okay, don't worry. No, don't worry. If you, <laughs> si quieres dímelo en español y a ver si. Okay. Es correcto decir o oh, disculparte a cada rato cuando tú cometes un error durante una conversación. Por ah, um, mm, I don't know. Because there are people who apologize for um, everything in all conversation, but it's okay. But, but sometimes just with just do it just one time. And people who and the person that who you are talking with and need to un, needs to understand this. Okay, lo debe como entender, pero igual. Okay, but it's not bad to say sorry. <laughs> Okay. That's all good. 
Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. No, tardé mucho en explicar eso. <laughs> no, but, it, but it's okay because we're, we're okay. learning. Yeah, sometimes, uh, it hap sometimes that happened to me. That also <laughs> happened to me, yes, because sometimes I'm talking with someone and then I, for then I start to forget um, many things or words and that is really bad, but I think that we are in progress. We are learning every everything I'm delighted. <laughs> in all the time. Yes, in all the time we're learning <laughs> to speak English and that is good. So we need to practice a lot. We need to yes. make our practice hard. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks to you. Okay, then we go with uh, Florencia. Mm, I remember I started to drive uh, when I was uh, 15. And no, wait, I was uh, 18. Okay, you, you oh. were 18. Okay, that's good. Thank you, guys. Okay, please try to add these um, this kind of expressions in your daily conversations. Okay? Intenten agregar todo lo que estamos viendo en sus conversaciones diarias. Okay, ¿cuál, what, cuál, cuál es una de las, de las uh, mejores prácticas para nosotros? Este, pues también adentrarnos en el inglés que, es que ustedes puedan llevar como un tipo journal o un diario donde puedan escribir sus ideas y puedan hacer nuevas oraciones, una libreta exclusiva y eso les va a ayudar a ustedes a ampliar su vocabulario, sus expresiones um, y qué más y bueno a tener un inglés más fluido. Pero just remember this is little by little, ¿ok? Okay, guys. So in this in this case, you have been using in a good way the past simple. Just remember, you have uh, used in a good way the the verbs in past. Okay, and that is good. Okay, so um, tell me, guys, we are going to brainstorm the word teenager. Okay, do you remember when you were a teenager? Teenager is an adolescent. Do you remember, guys? Um, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, please tell me. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions about this for you, okay? And then we're going to read the article. Okay. Um, We need to read the article? No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to give you a question uh -huh. from this article to you. Okay? Okay. About your mm -hmm. teenage year. Okay. Your teenage. Okay, about your teenage. Sobre su adolescencia. Okay, mm -hmm. as you can see here, this is an interview with Joe Hobson. Okay, but, he, but he's talking about his teenage years okay so and tell me tell me guys and what is the happiest memory you have from teen years cuál es cuál es eh, su memoria cuál es el recuerdo más feliz de cuando tú eras adolescente what was your memory who wants to start jorge fabiola o florencia Me. Okay. Who? Mm, Florencia. Florencia. Mm, I remember when I was 15 years, my father gave me a uh, travel to Cancun for one week. And I was very happy because I, I traveled, traveled, uh, alone only with one uh one uncle uh, okay. it was fun okay it was good and how and um, what was your age 15 oh 15 mm -hmm. yes you are a teenager <laughs> right mm -hmm. okay that is a really happy memory for you right 
Yes. Okay, thank you. Then, who wants to continue? Fabiola or Jorge? What's the happiest memory you have from your teen years? Okay, uh, I am. I I always remember uh, my best uh, uh, reminder. Uh, remember is um, I was uh, uh, I play soccer with my friends. Okay. Uh, I play soccer uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I play basketball a lot. Uh, uh, it was very funny for me. Okay, thanks. So you used to play um, baseball? Uh, yes. Yes, baseball. Okay, that was no. good. No, 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 basketball. Ah, basketball. Yes, ah, yeah. okay, that was a really good memory for you. Yeah, okay, uh, I was remember I uh, uh, I am um, uh, a a group uh, a crew. <laughs> yes, a uh, for uh, break dance. Uh, yeah, I uh, I was remember is I am very good at, at dancing break dance. I dance <laughs> with my friends. <laughs> yes. Uh, we are uh, like, like very much. Uh, mm. oh, okay, perfect. So you are really good at dancing and playing yeah. sports. Break dance, yeah. Ah, break dance. So and so, do you like dancing, right? Uh, I remember as uh, teenagers for uh, fifteen or eighteen, uh, maybe. Okay, yes, it's good. 18 and 18, it's a really good age. Okay, thank you yeah. okay, okay. for giving this information about yourself. Then we go with uh, Fabiola. Ah, Fabiola, if you don't, please try to write on the chat, okay? okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, so... And we're going to uh, wait for Fabiola's writing. And please, we are going to read this interview with Joe Hobson. And when you were ready, reading this information, you are going to try to signal the past simple. Okay, we're going to try to, to see what of, what of these sentences are in past simple. Okay, we have the number one. Where were you born? Did you spend your teens there? I was born in a small town near Manchester. I spent my teens there until I went to university. When I was 18. Okay, what's one thing you remember about school? Okay, guys, you're going to help me to read. Okay, me van a ayudar a leer. Okay, number mm -hmm. two, please, Jorge. Number three, Florencia. Number four, I'm going to read. I'm going to read it. Number five, Jorge. Six, okay. Until number 10. Just remember, in this case, uh, Fabiola is not going to participate just for the audio. Or if you want to, to, to read, you can do it, okay? So number two, Jorge. What? Okay. What's, what's one thing you remember about the school? Okay. I had an, a lot of, of fun with my friends playing soccer and pool. We used to try to sneak out of the school during break to go to the sweet shop around the corner. Okay, thank you. Number three, have you, Florencia? What mean sneak out? Um, a sneak out, um, I don't remember in this case, but okay, I'm going to look for it. 
Okay. Okay, I start to read. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what were your best subject in school and your worst? Uh, my best subject was science, especially bi biology. And that's when I ended up doing for my degree. My worst subject was algebra. I was never very good at it. Okay, thank you. Okay, I have read again the, the paragraph number two. And in this case, sneak out is like, for example, to hide for some, someone. Sorry, I didn't hear you. You are on in mute, I think, because I can hear you. Okay, Florencia, in this case, sneak out is when you hide from someone, okay? Or for example, if you are in, in, in a part of, I mean, in this case, in the school, and then in the brace, he goes to, go, he used to go to the sweet shop. In this case, it's like esconderse o escabullirse, sneak out. Okay. Okay. Salirse como escondida, se irse a, a la tienda. Ok. Ok. Ok, Fabiola has written here. When I was in prepa, five, I met five friends who are still my friends. We have been for four, we have been friends for 14 years. But in high school, we did a lot of things. We went to concerts, party, and we play guitar hero at play a call season. Okay, that's good, uh, Fabiola. That is really good. This is a really good memory from your childhood. Sorry for your teenage. Okay, thank you. Okay, number four. How did you spend your free time? I spent a lot of time playing sports, soccer, cricket, and handball and humble. I also did a lot of music. I played trumpet in the school orchestra. I sang in the choir as well. Okay. Number five, Jorge, again. What fashion sometimes do you remember from your teen years? Teen years, sorry. Oh, uh, the fashion I remember most was emo fashion because that's something I used to wear. We wore slim fit jeans back, thin shirts, and like I like most of the friends I had long hair. Okay, so do you remember something about your? Fashion trend? Yeah, yes, I remember. Uh, okay. Uh, what do you used to wear when you were a teenager, Jorge? Okay. Um, I like to smoke, uh, uh, put me pants, uh, 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 um, uh, shoot. Uh, uh, Adidas uh, brand. Uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, uh, shoot uh, concha. <laughs> um, uh, pants Adidas for uh, okay. the, 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 the breaking dancing. Uh -huh. Yes, because you used to, yes, you told me that you used to uh -huh. yes. dance and um, breaking dance, right? Okay, but I think that we were a teenager. We usually, um, we used to take uh, the different uh, trends, what we watch in the movies or maybe sub operas. Okay, yes. I don't know because, for example, I don't know if your generation is from when you, for example, the sub opera Rebelde or 
any others of operas or movies, for example, Hilary Dove, I don't know. And we used to <clears throat> adopt that kind of uh, fashion and trends. Okay, Fabiola and Florencia, did you, did you get it? Did you do it? Mm, not really. <laughs> not really? You didn't adopt any trend or fashion? All everybody is was oh. emo. Yes, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, I think so. It's in context. Emo yes. for everybody. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, Fabiola and Florencia, tell me. You're not? No, I was not Valera. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it's good. And okay. I was against uh, more people. <laughs> okay. Yes, also me, I only remember uh, I cut my hair like a emo. But <laughs> you wanted to be an emo girl? Huh? You wanted to be an emo girl? Not really, because I I don't um uh, uh how do you say I I didn't dress uh dress like that, but the the style of her of her um, I I like, mm, yes, I like that. <laughs> okay, okay, it's good. Okay, we go with the number six. What was the most difficult thing about being a teenager? Okay, so being stuck between being a kid and being an adult, so trying to balance the two, I think the most things feel that way. I wanted to be treated like a true adult, son of the time. And, I, and like a kid at, at other times, I was frustrating when someone got the wrong age. Okay, guys, do you, did you happen for these situations? For example, what was, what, how old are you guys now? Jorge, Fabiola, and Florencia, how old are you? I'm 30. Years. 20? 30. 30. Who? Cool. Flore yeah. Florencia. Fabiola, right? Yes. No, Florencia. Florencia, 30. <laughs> and you, Fabiola? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can hear you better. <laughs> write it, <laughs> please. Yeah. And Jorge, how old are you? Oh, 37. 37. Okay, I'm Fabiola, 29. Ah, okay, it's good. So, guys, do you remember something? Or can you identify with the answer of Joe? You wanted to be treated like a true adult when you were a teenager? Or maybe you feel frustrated when someone got the grown age? Or maybe someone... Um, told you, okay, you look like 13 years old and also you you got um, 15 years old. Cuando alguien se equivocaba en su edad o les decía que eran muy niños, ¿no se molestaba? Mm, yes, I think it was a difficult uh, age for all okay. because we want to do uh, some things like an uh, adult can do, but you can't because you don't have <laughs> the, okay. the, the best uh, age or the adult age that okay. you need. <laughs> yes, 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 you're right. <laughs> yes, it happened all the time. Number seven, what's the happiest? Okay, you, you, you answered this, but we're going to see the answer of Joe. What's the happiest memory you have from your teen years? Joe says, I played handball for my college when I was picked up to play for England when I was 17. It was such a great feeling when I heard the national anthem and knew I was representing my country. Okay, he represents his country. 
when he was 17. Number eight, who or what influenced you when you were a teenager? What did you learn? My parents influenced me a lot, although I only really appreciated it when I was older. Some of my friends influenced me too. They all taught me the value of hard work and of being yourself and enjoyed it that. Okay? What about this question? Who was your influencer when you were a teenager, guys? Who was your influencer? Or maybe the people who influenced when you were a teenager? Teenager. Do you remember some of them? Mm, I remember my major cousins mm, when they was mm, Where? 25. I remember I would like to have, or oh, I would like to, to, I, to be like they. Oh, uh, okay. You would like to be with them? Yes. Okay. And do all the things that they can <laughs> do it. Oh, <laughs> For example, drive, uh, go to the parties. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Then number nine, what do you miss about your teen years? I miss the lot of responsibility. Now I have to worry about so much stuff like work and money. So I miss being a teenager. Guys, do you miss being a teenager? Sometimes? Or are you happy for being adults? A young adult now? This he says because everything was a lot easier then. Do you miss? Ustedes extrañan su etapa adolescente. Mm. Mm, I think yes, mm, because I <laughs> I don't need to to worry about <laughs> the rent, to pay uh, services and to work. Yes. The life was more easy. Easier. 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 Yeah, easier. Okay, easier. It's not more easy, it's easier. Okay, thank you, Fabiola. And, and Jorge, please tell me, Jorge and, and Fabiola, please. What's one piece of advice you would give to today teenagers? Yes, an advice, Jorge. An advice is un consejo que le darías a los adolescentes. Okay. Um, oh, my advice uh, for the teenagers is. Uh, you shall be uh, you should be don't stop uh, uh, learning everything about uh, if you want and um, you don't lose the time uh, oh, okay okay i don't know uh, you have uh, if, if you want to try you do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You need you need to do it. Okay, okay. Okay, so. yeah, thank you. And Fabiola, you can write it here. Okay, guys. So please in your free time as a homework, please try to read again this convers this um conversation. Okay, and so we have talked about some things in common with Joe. Okay, and I also ask you, I ask, I have asked to you some of these questions. 
Okay, just tell me um, the first one. Uh, Joe was born in Manchester. Is false or true, guys? It's false. It's false, yes, because he, he was born in a small town near, near Manchester, but he's not in Manchester. Okay. Okay. Number two. Uh, he liked to sneak out of school to go to the movie theater. It's true or false? ¿Se ¿Sí recuerdas que me preguntaste esta de sneak out? Because he sneak out to go to the to the tiendita. I don't remember the word. Sweet shop. <laughs> Sweet shop. Okay, it's false. Okay, number three, Florencia. His worst subject in school was biology. You don't remember? It's true, huh? Okay. I know the words, no. Okay, it's... No, it's the... It's false. It's false, yes. Yeah. False, his best subject was biology. His worst subject was algebra. Number four, he wore black t-shirts and long hair when he was in school. I think it's true. Okay, true. Number five, Joe's best memory was playing soccer for England when he was 17. Is false or is true? It's true. It's true. Okay. It's false because he played humble for um, England. Okay. Humble. And number six, Joe enjoy having no responsibility as a teenager. True. Okay. True. Because he means his teenager. Okay.